That was interesting. Well, did you learn anything? The picture is definitely starting to form. While you were sleeping, a dark aura started to engulf you. There's no telling what she plans to do, but it's clear Vizelle is trying to tap into something dark within you, and she's getting closer to it every time you're unconscious. How am I supposed to fight against something that... something if I'm unconscious? Good questions, good questions. You're not. I think that was the whole point. In, that ca in any case, I have an idea that I think will even the playing field. I've got some matters to attend to. Until then, just try to relax. Getting worked up might only further agitate your condition. Uh, why don't you go socialize with some friends or something? I don't have friends. Socialize with friends? What friends? This guy doesn't know me very well. That's all I was gonna say, what friends? I think the new arcade next to the Cafe Cream should be open on my side of town. I can go and check that out. All right. Oh, I don't have to walk there. Welcome to the Lucky Cat Arcade. Get your game on all day on. Wait, all day on? Jeez, do they make you say that? Yes. Well, on behalf of whoever created that lazy tagline, I'm sorry. Thanks. I'll give you extra tokens, but it's against corporate policy. Okay, well, we gotta do something. Wait, what's the mission? Get change, get change and play something fun. Can do, can do, can do, can do, can do. Um, where to change at? Where to change at? Chicka chicka, where to change at? Where to change at? Chicka chicka. Oh. Takes ones and fives. Kind of funny to think that anything more you actually need change for the change machine. Ah, <laughs> that is interesting. Tris got arcade tokens. Yes. All right, let's talk to some randos. I actually spent all my money and I'm just pretending to play now. No offense, but I'm gonna go. I've got an image to protect and I can't be seen hanging around with a loser like you. Ooh, dang, Trist. I'm so glad this place doesn't have any of those goofy prize tickets. It really cheapens the amb ambient ambiance. Yeah, the smell of musky nerds and the gum on the floor really shouldn't have to be tarnished by such tacky practices. Whoa, that's, that's a pretty sick score. How'd you get so good? What's that supposed to mean? Girls can be good at games. You think only men should hang on arcades? Well, why don't I just step over so you can play and stop patronizing my score already? Look, everyone, the big bad man is gonna show me how it's done. I'm just kidding. Could you imagine if I was like that though? Thanks for the props. I, I have to go. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> I have to go. Eat dust, noobs. Aw, I always come in last. Man, you guys drive like my grandma. Last one across the line buys lunch. All right, well, what does this guy say? My mom says I'm not supposed to talk to brown people. Your mom is a terrible person. Did y'all hear that? My mom says I'm not supposed to talk to brown people? I couldn't be any more offended. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I'm hanging out here because some guys keep hogging the air hockey mission tables. Would you like me to go there and beat them up for you? Really? Cool. <laughs> Silly Jimmy. Heck no. That's called assault on a minor and I ain't trying to catch a case. Go solve your own problems. Got carried away there. Looks like an hour's passed already. I didn't play any games. I wouldn't mind grabbing a, a milkshake. I didn't play any games. A zombie shooter. A quarter guzzler. Oh, so it doesn't suck him. Be sure to stop by Wendy's for a delicious fresh burger. Oh, Wanda's or else. Have a nice day. I've been lurking. But what did he say? Yeah, uh, yeah. What's up, Chris? How are ya? <laughs> yes, that's, we just heard it. Did I get threatened by a burger pushing seven year old? Yes, he, that, that definitely was said. Uh, 
want we want a milkshake oh there's older people here too that is that is gerald from hey arnold that's gerald that's gerald from hey arnold hey don't i know you from somewhere jerome instead of gerald because they know they might have gotten into trouble no i'm pretty sure you were the best friend on that show let it go stop romanticizing the 90s they're never coming back oh i miss the 90s <laughs> gerald sup bro there's a phrase i've heard enough for a lifetime what nothing just talking to myself uh i'm pretty sure you're the guy my parents and all my teachers keep telling me not to talk to that's fair i'm gonna go creep somewhere else gerald <laughs> they say video games are escapists well i've played hundreds of them i'm still stuck here in this life hey that might not be so bad you can get stuffed into a minimalist uh, RPG as an NPC and then you only get two branches of dialogue now that would be painful touche that's all the dialogue he has whatever it is um, it's not more important than combing my hair yeah you never know when Grease 3 is gonna start casting gotta look good they're casting Grease 3 whoosh right over his head is that Naruto Narturo, you know what? <laughs> I cannot with this game. Want to see a magic trick? Yeah, sure. Smoky twin jutsu. Uh, I've seen better. They did not put an expression in text. Oh, yo, this game is hilarious. Do I know you from somewhere? In your dreams, kid. Maybe so. Maybe so. Oh my gosh, this game is hilarious. Can I have a vanilla milkshake? Absolutely. Would that be synthetic or authentic ice cream? Ew. Uh, excuse me? Real milkshakes run at 5 75 it's not so easy for a kid to drop that kind of change so corporate came up with a cheaper alternative we call it nice cream i don't think this place is going to be in business and lost for so long i'll try the synthetic <laughs> that'll be 2.99 ew order up one large synth shake ew are you nuts Give it a rest. I have an evil soul inside of me crying out loud. Once can you say synthetic ice cream doesn't seem so bad? Uh, sir? Yeah? Please stop talking to yourself in front of the service counter. That shake will be right out. <laughs> this game is something else. <laughs> One synth shake, sir. Thanks. I guess I could grab a seat and people watch while I have my shake. This milkshake is terrible. Well, it's synthetic ice cream, so. You. Uh-oh. That voice. I know that voice. Don't tell me. Yo, that's the guy. That's the guy from like the first episode and I got drunk at that party and wanted to fight me just great what are you doing here come to ruin everyone's good time again are you kidding me i was here first stalker what what i'm not a stalker take that back i don't know dude never seen you once before yesterday seen you twice now and you've approached me both times sounds pretty stalkery stalky to me that's a good nickname for you, Stalky. I'm gonna call you Stalky now. I'm warning you. What? You gonna bust out that lame Derek Jitsu on me again? What? Th that's it. No one insults the Derek Jitsu. Me and you gotta duke it out right now. Let's go. Hey, hey, wait. Oh, we really about to fight? Outside? <laughs> 
And look at Gerald and Naruto. I'm sorry, Jerome and Naruto. And when Wanda, because that's not a Wendy's girl on the right, but Wanda. Is there anyone else I recognize? No? Fight, 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 fight. Where the heck did this crowd come from now? Let's settle this once for all. See, Triss has a sword though, so I think we're good here. Oh, I keep forgetting. Triss fights a little different. I love the art style. It's super cute, isn't it? See, when we start fighting, you'll see that there's like a secondary art style they have too. So what are you doing after this, Stalky? Where'd you get your haircut from? On an onion farm? You can say whatever you want. Derek Jitsu and Kangaroo Karate. It is Kangaroo Karate and you know it. He seems a, bit, a little bit upset about me insulting his Jitsu. You've insulted Derek Jitsu for the last time. You're about to get wrecked and checked until you regret your steps. Okay. Derek is not only twice as annoyed this time, but now he's also twice as angry. Is that good? No, it's not. Okay. Jer Derek is feeling like he'll defend the honor of Derek Jusu at all costs. Oh gosh, I might have overdone that one. Enough talk. Those cheap, tri cheap tricks won't work on me. I mean, I, I felt like I were gonna fight anyway, so I'm okay with that. Oh wait, I thought he was gonna move. Oh gosh, the reaction time in this is a little wonky. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. I don't know what Derek Jitsu is, it just looks like standing on one foot. That art piece behind there looks so neat. I want it on my wall. sweet Asian kicks of mine. I don't know about that. I think Bruce Lee has a lot on it. What? Wanna party? That's so weird. It does say zero too. fun at this point like I don't I don't understand this match at all <laughs> and what we're supposed to get out of it I guess maybe it's Derek Jutsu is just so good that I don't do it it doesn't do anything to him Cutting me crazy. Are we gonna kill this guy ever? Here we go. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I'm sorry, not kill him, but I mean, like, make him pass out. Something. Achieve the objective of this fight. You gave Derek some fries with that shake. I see what you did there. Man, you're a pretty good fighter. And you are too, I guess. As much as I hate to admit it. You know? I thought you were just some kind of sleaze the other night. And now you owe you an apology. You say that after I have to have a whole fight with you? The apology should have came and then there should have been no fight. What? You're just realizing this now? You've literally assaulted me twice in two days. That's what I'm saying. Tish, not about that. I spoke to Beck. I know you're going through some things. Oh, 
I've never really been depressed or alone. At least not in the way that you have. You really were just waiting for your friend, and it was an open bar. I was out of line, but I guess I don't really know how to express myself without using these bare knuckles of mine. We beat ourselves and make friends. This guy is a total brobarian. <laughs> so listen, I'm sorry about the other night. Well, I hope you accept my weird apology. I'll leave it to I'll leave you to it now. The fact that we had to fight before this is crazy. It's fine. We all make mistakes. Besides, this literally kerfruff was just the kind of thing I need to get my mind back on track. Well, if you ever need to be smacked around again, you know who to call. Wait a minute, he doesn't have my number. Oh well, too late. If I backtrack now, I'll ruin my cool exit. Really? <laughs> what the crap was that, Derek? Do you think he realizes he will never co exchange your contact information? Do you think he realizes we never exchanged contact information? Nope. It's probably for the best. Man, I think I should uh, turn in before this day gets any more hectic. For real. I've been fighting this whole freaking stream. I've never fought this more, this much in one stream. I guess I should get a change of wardrobe from my place quickly and then head back to the Golden Taco to get an update on the situation. All right, so we're going home. Bye, Jerome. Bye, Wanda. Bye... Nat Nat Natro. This place is weird. You own a weird business. I think it's my house is this way. Who are these people out here? What's up, sweetie pie? S sweetie pie. I was thinking of making a hummingbird cake in shape of a famous pink ball video game character, but I don't know if it's too much. What to use for frosting? What do you think? First of all, pineapple in a cake should be a crime. Secondly, I'm more of a glazed kind of guy. That sounds good. I'll try it out. Wait, I've literally never met you. Why are you going to go with my suggestion? It's not like I'm actually going to get to taste it. Well, you will if you come over. Be sure to stop by and we can eat cake at Casilla. C -c Casa. Who the heck is Cas Ca But more importantly, what's the address though? I'll put it in your phone. Don't count on going there anytime soon, though. Heather's address? What? Can I tell you a story? Uh, sure, I guess. One day, King Solomon called on his most trusted advisor and said, I need you to find me a treasure. They said it makes the ability to end anyone's sadness. So the advisor set off until he found a ring in the ruins of the desert, and he returned to the king. My king, I have found the treasure to cure your woes. King Solomon was pleased. He announced he would hold a feast to thank the advisor and celebrate with his court. As the feast was in full swing, he was overjoyed. He looked upon the court of his trusted advisors, allies, and friends. All were eating and merry. He realized his happiness again left him. He looked upon the ring and rubbed his finger along it, reading the engraved, This too shall pass. Solomon realized that all the moments, good and bad, are fleeting. I've always liked that story. It reminds me to take moments as they come, for everything that they are. If you constantly chase happiness, you will never be satisfied. And if you avoid suffering at all costs, you will always be disappointed. Whatever is happening, this too shall pass. So what do you think? I think the last five minutes of my life just passed. And my days are as a broken game, a broken game, game dev aren't passing fast enough. I like that story though. This too shall pass. I want to talk to the banana guy. Hey, Tris. Oh, hey, Scott. Why the heck are you dressed as a banana? I have sent it. This is my true form. How are you peeling today? Oh, I don't think I like this. By the way, I just started collecting VHS ta tapes. So if you ever got any you want to dump on me, let me know. VHS tapes? Really? I'm in love with the 90s, baby. All right, I'll see what I can do. Good luck with this whole banana thing. Ripe back at ya. Ugh. <laughs> this game is so oh no it's so corny i love it um we gotta go home we're going home who are you can i talk to you oh look it's platinum selling rapper little ship what's up homie you want an autograph heck no what are you crazy your music's trash oh wow 
<laughs> like almost every rapper with Lil in the front of their names. Just saying. Alright, we're going home, right? This is home. I wonder how Billy's doing. I'll never still uh understand that whole trend with putting little in front of your name all of a sudden like who, who is that oh i'm a big gangster my name is little little baby what man that lady really trashed my house what is that music Oh, this flashback dream again. This is my old apartment again. Uh, how does this happening? What? Hello, Tris. Good. Who the heck are you? And don't sneak up on me like that. I am. That's funny. Now that I think of it, I don't actually know who I am. And yet, I can see all the memories you and Zoe made here. What did you say? I'll show you what I mean. Follow me into the bathroom. Oh boy. Not liking this. You remember this, don't you? When she found you. When she found out what you've been doing, she called the emergency number. You felt betrayed, didn't you? Do you still feel that way? Uh, no. It was a scary situation. Maybe she was scared. Maybe she was trying to protect me. But it wasn't in a reasonable state of mind at the time. So I can't put that on anyone else. I see. For what reason does this place exist? Who would want to preserve memories of a crappy apartment along with this crappy love story? Let's go to the bedroom. It's more for us to see. Oh boy. Does it smell the way you remember it? This, this is bizarre. The first time this happened, I definitely couldn't smell anything. Are these visions becoming real? This is where you started a bed together. Shared a bed together. Well, that is until after you were under the impression you were spending your lives together and she became partitioning you between the sheets. You were so confused, weren't you? It's indisputable that you deserved an explanation, but you never got one, did you? You deserve one, don't you think? Well, I'll never forgive her or anyone else for making me Making my feelings expendable. I'm not trying to pass it off like these feelings don't matter. My feelings are valid. My feelings of betrayal, anger, they're all valid. But when it comes to a point where now it's controlling my decisions and thoughts and haunting my future, then they don't matter. I don't know if that makes sense. Where would my life be if I would be still dwelling over this? The world doesn't stop for people even when being wronged. Your choice is to pick up the slack or get left behind. I see. Does digging up these memories bring you some kind of joy? Would you follow me back into the bathroom? Before you split ways for good, you discovered something picture yes picture of someone she loved before you and her things and yet she didn't bother to keep any of yours she regretted choosing you didn't she i don't know i can worry about what people do with their lives i can only worry about what i do with mine she must have i was foolish even though she was the selfish one <sighs> Like, I, I, legit, I don't know, right? But, like, in the same essence, 
if I continue to dwell off of this or I continue to like, what do I get out of this? This is getting old. I didn't look back when things ended and I don't plan on starting now. I may not have a time machine, but I have experience. I can keep looking forward, make better decisions and ensure that my life can stand tall on its own. Let's see, enough of this. I wanna go back to my apartment in threesome. My life may not be the best, but it's darn sure beats living in the past, literally. There's one final memory I have to share with you. Would you follow me to the living room area? You couldn't condense this better where I wasn't traveling into all these rooms. You remember this, don't you? Is that turquoise sweatpants and a white tank top? You came over to her place the second time you met. It was obvious you two would end up together from that point, wasn't it? But she didn't really value you or your feelings, did she? What if I told you... You could permanently erase every single one of these festering memories that you can erase ever coming to see her this night. What? Qu quit messing around. Oh, this is no joke. There aren't many things I can recall about myself, but this is a power I sure you can have. Why hold on to something you invested so much into only to be discarded? Erase the memory, keep the memory. Keep it. And, and this kind of goes against what I just said, but erasing the memory would be possibly erasing the lesson that I got from this, right? I've been in many bad relationships personally, IRL, right? And though they were terrible instances, though I was in physical, emotional, financial harm in many of those circumstances, if I were to erase the memory, I would erase the experience, the lessons I've learned, the strength that I gained from those situations and the realizations that was developed in those circumstances. I wouldn't be me without, I wouldn't truly be who I am right now today without those past things and without those past memories. To the fact that I look back at them, I'm just like, wow, I endured a lot. And you know what, I made it. Or just looking back and being like, wow, I'm so glad God that you got me out of that situation somehow. And like, I can actually look back in happiness and laugh about some of these things. So why would I erase that? Like, I, I understand not letting it hold me down, but I'm not going to erase it. My memories may not all be pretty, but it's who I am. And I'm not going I'm not going to regret that just because someone else decided to be less than what I deserved. My my my. Look at how you've grown. I remember who I am now. I am your resolve. You aren't that fragile, breakable being from these memories who harbors resentment. Stand tall, Tris Barona. I never knew his last name. Stand tall and you will break all the borders before you. And now the final test. Show me that you have a heart stronger than your own spirit. What does that mean? Defeat me. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and destroy the shackles of your parasitic past. You're stronger than all of this. Okay. Well, I'm either... My uh-huh get at me bro of your own resolve you've grown strong indeed there's no doubt in my mind that you can handle anything that's left standing in your way that's right 
The world is fading now, but remember that I'm always residing deep in your heart, and I will lend you my strength when you need it most. Hex, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Yes. That was indeed crazy. I was literally fighting my myself. What is happening to me? My grip on reality is fading. I should get back to the golden taco. That was, that was epic though. I, I enjoyed that uh mind chaos. Did you have a nice time stretching your legs, bro? Or perhaps you decided to lift some steel. The boss man is in the hideout. You should go check in with him. You've got a big day coming up. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see, bro. I don't know if I like the sound of that. So many doors. You're back. I think both of us can see that. Right. So, is there anything I shouldn't know about? No. Well, in the case you were wondering, I had an out of body experience back at my apartment. I had to corrupt my own resolve. No big deal. Ah, the trial of resolve. You know about that? One who fails to try resolve will likely never have a chance to unlock the full extent of their transcendent abilities. Although I've imagined you given your unique affliction, your trial took on a more literal manifestation. Passing the trial means nothing other than you obtain the passing grade and your abilities have, have your abilities have potential. If that's the kind of thing you celebrate, then by all means, the bar is downstairs. There's nothing left for you to do here. In the day from from now, Ryan and I will confront the organization at its source and dismantle it. Whoa, really? How did you find that out? We have another guest. Don't tell me. <laughs> what? You know, oh, excuse me. You know you're literally starting to look like the bad guy now. Our lookout friend was convinced he no longer had any information, but I made him dig quite deep and eventually he was able to remember the name of a crooked accountant he was delivered a large sum of money to. We didn't get along so well at first, what with the vulgar amount of words coming out of his mouth, but as soon as I jammed up one of my needles from the tip of his tongue to its base, I believe we began to see past our minor differences. Minor differences? And one day the threat to you will no longer exist and these two will hopefully be able to live better, more honest lives. Say it again. Your role in this is no longer a factor. You can stay here until I bring this to a close. What do you mean? I mean, you're done here. You didn't get yourself killed and it appears you're going to survive your ordeal in one piece. You did good. Now leave it at that. Listen, quite condescending, quit condescending me, darn it. You don't get to decide that. Last time I checked, I'm 27 years old and you didn't help me through any of it. So you don't just get to tell me what to do. Bazell is my problem, just as much as yours, if not more. She tried to exploit me for our own nefarious purposes, exploited who knows how many innocent people. And she's threatened the safety of a really cute girl I like. I can't let her get away with something like that. Just don't get in my way. If you become a liability, you, you'll be just as much of an obstacle as our enemies. So you have no choice but to dispatch you. You're, you're kidding, right? You have a right to confront the individual who has been wrecking havoc in your own town and pursue your own destiny. So I suppose I can allow you to join us. Did he really just imply that us helping him takes down an evil organization was him doing us a favor? What is wrong with this guy? I've been lying if I said I wasn't a bit curious about what Vizel's true intention is. And with you there, we might just uncover that. Guess I'll see you in a day then. You can stay in one of our economy rooms. Ryan should have a key card. Wow. I'm getting tired of that guy talking to me like that. Like, who do you think you are, punk? 
I'll fight you. Or smack talk you. So many doors. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. Come on. Get the key card. Uh, hey. Do you have the key card to one of the rooms here? Glad you're here. You're coming along, bro. This will get you into one of the standard rooms on the second floor. All right. Standard. Okay. Okay. This is standard. This is stand. He calls this a standard room. Seriously, I'm just going to stop being shocked by anything Deacon says or does at this point. I guess I should turn in for the night. I have a big day ahead of me. I may actually stand a chance of a good night's sleep on a bed this luxurious. Here goes nothing. Economy rooms, imagine? Ooh. All right, guys, we're going to cut it there. I mean, whew, this chapter. You got me. I'm telling you, I have not been any more sucked into this story. Oh, boy.